Hi everybody, my name is Nate Chamberlain and this post is just a troubleshooting post uh, to share something we found when trying to sync OneDrive or SharePoint document libraries um, to uh, local systems through the client. So what's happening for us is we're getting this error message um, for everybody who's syncing this library that says we couldn't merge the changes in this file. Uh, you now have two copies of that file. And that two copies quickly becomes four or five copies uh, because of some conflict uh, that's happening between dropping the file into a file explorer, it uploading to SharePoint, kicking off a workflow, and then downloading back to everybody else's clients. Uh, so, as you can see here, basically what's happening is the computer name is being appended again and again. And then uh, what we found was that the file size played a significant role in this because smaller files were fine. Uh, anybody could add those through the file explorer and it would sync up through the client to the cloud, uh, no problem. But the bigger ones were taking a little bit longer and that's when it started getting into the save conflict and the timing issue. Uh, and then ours is only further complicated by having a workflow kicked off whenever an item is added. So uh, once it gets going, it's hard to stop. And once the file name gets too long, then it's harder to delete. Uh, so hopefully we can help you get this fixed for your own place. Um, so basically, I mean, we can't really reduce the size of your files all the time, and you probably don't want to turn off your workflows. Uh, so our workaround is just to, whenever we have a large file, we're going to drag and drop it to the browser, uh, and that hasn't caused this issue. So you can try that, uh, but it's unfortunate you can't use File Explorer for that. So I've got some other solutions that we can try here. I'll just walk you through how to do them real quick. Uh, they don't involve changing your business process or anything. They're just things we can try with the clients and with your office programs uh, to make sure those are not causing your issues. So uh, first of all, if you have multiple versions of Office, go ahead and delete the older ones if you don't need them. Uh, it could be conflicting um, programs there that are causing your issue. So to do that, you go to your apps and programs. So you can just do start, search for apps. Just go to apps and features. And then we can see here I've got Microsoft Office but I just have one, so I'm good there. But if you had to, uh, go ahead and uninstall an older one, like if you have 2010 and 2016, uh, try deleting 2010 and rebooting your computer. Uh, second solution here, uh, repair your Office program. So again, back to Apps and Features, find your Office program, and then click Modify. And then if it prompts you to make changes, click Yes. And then you've got two options. And this quick repair uh, is probably what I would recommend the most. Online repair is basically kind of like reinstalling all of those programs, and it's going to take a while. So uh, try both if you want, but I think you'd be fine trying quick repair for this. And then let's see our next solution here. Everybody who's uh, syncing that library could try deleting the cached files. Uh, and the way you can do that is by hitting uh, your Windows button, searching for the Upload Center. Uh, open up your Upload Center. It should look like this. And then go to Settings. And then down here, we've got this Delete uh, Cached Files button. So you can go ahead and click that. And if you want, you can also check this Delete Files uh, from the document cache when they're closed. So that's there. And then if that doesn't fix your issue, the only thing that I'd recommend after that is just stop syncing the library, uh, which definitely is an ideal. It's a huge convenience to have. But uh, if you work with a lot of large files, and if this just isn't going to go away easily, Maybe the best thing to do is to just work uh, solely through the browser. Uh, so to quit syncing a library, go down to your system tray, right click on your OneDrive icon and do settings. And then you should be on the account tab already where you can click stop sync on any of these libraries. Do stop sync again and you'll be good. Uh, it'll save a copy of everything that's already downloaded to your local computer, but it's not gonna sync anymore. Uh, so hopefully one of those uh, solutions will help you. I'm interested to hear what other people are going through with this notification and if you found a different way to get around it. Uh, so good luck and thanks for watching.